We are going to add Cori Media. I'm mixing quite a bit because I'm going to do quite a few chords. So if you were just going to do one, about uh, how much? Need a quarter. But the thing is, you can't just do one. <laughs> <laughs> This is what helps the little cells, the little dots appear. And I've experimented with different quantities. Kathy only uses one drop. Um, if you use a lot, um, the, the cells are smaller. If you use one, the cells are bigger. So I'll, I'll vary it here. Cool. And then go ahead and stir. The spoons are the best part of that cup. They are. Well, so it's. So I just missed the beginning. So you put uh, your paints inside, the new ones? Uh, I'm going to do all the new ones. Oh. One. Oh. Because when you pour, if you only pour with those colors, it's not going to be that pretty because all those colors Pastel. are exactly the same tone. <laughs> In order to have a good, interesting pour, you need lights and darks, just like in a painting. Movie. So, and I've learned, just like I like my white space, that I like to start with a bed of white. Cool. Just do so I'll probably mix white again in a minute. Um, Kathy was telling me that if you do have an older paint and it won't mix very well, you're, it's kind of lumpy. How she got hers to mix one is she put it in one of the little jars, one of these. These are for sale too. And she put and she put a ball bearing from Diane's white ink in there because she saves them. She finds them in the back of the drawer all the time and just shook it and it and it mixed everything. So if you didn't have a ball bearing, you could probably do a pebble. And oh, then that's smart. Get it. That's a beautiful mustard color. So when, when they first started testing this stuff, um, I just fell in love. I told Ranger, you're, you're really going to need to, because like, he saw that I used almost this whole thing um, just for this. I said, with the kind of stuff I want to pour, I need a gallon. And then, sure enough, uh, FedEx showed up one day with a gallon of pouring. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sell it in the gallon yet? Know. That would be good. I sent him an email. Did you? Yep. It's nice, it doesn't dilute the color, like it doesn't change it will the color. If you don't use the color. Oh, I see, okay. Thanks. I like the tips. It's all about proportion. If you're doing a class, it's hard to do it with the box. I mean, I went through like 10 of them. Yeah, we need, definitely need to do an education gallon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, there's a store in uh, out of Kansas City. And she, they do little, they pre-mix colors and these. And they've been selling sets with these pre-mixed. And with some substrates in there and stuff, and they, she can't keep them. Really? That's so smart. Yeah. And they do really? themes like metallic. Or, um, I don't know. I, I was like, that is such a good idea. Great idea. And it's not that hard to mix a huge quantity of it and then they have you a funnel. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to start with is just a standard pour. So I am going to start with an all-white base. You don't have to, but uh, because I'm doing it, <laughs> oh, don't waste a beautiful business card. <laughs> That's true. You incorporate it into your journal after. Now I don't always start this way, but lately I've really liked the way my pores have turned out when I start this way. So is this white thicker than the other paints or is it the same consistency? Within the pouring medium? Yes. It's thinner. It's thinner. So you can pour it. Okay. And then I'm going to consider doing a dirty pour. I'm just going to start. I mean, you could leave it like that. Sorry, boy. 
where the interest comes is when you start Oh wow. Start to see the cells. So then the cells, the cells will start forming. Do you see them there? Mm -hmm. And so color theory does apply in form. However, it applies in a different way. Because you can mix some opposites before they turn red. If you stir them up too much, they'll run. But if you just do um, little bits, they won't. So it's kind of nice to, to have some opposites happen. You know, and I think pouring is a little bit like gel printing because a gel printing is very easy to make backgrounds. And in pouring, backgrounds are simple. I'm surprised you can make a million backgrounds. I think the challenge in pouring is creating finished paints, composed paints. Right. Um, and so I am going to do a pouring class this year in my rotation. And I'm going to be focusing not on backgrounds, but I'm going to be focusing on how to compose a finished painting. Because, again, backgrounds are a cinch to me. So generally what I'll do is I'll do one pour like that, and then I will set it aside to dry. And so you're using that new pour? Um, Art No, that's tips. This oh, is okay. my new board. Oh, this is your new But that would pour okay. awesome. I can't wait to go and read this one. Okay, so then, the dirty pour. Can you scoot it? I just love my white start. I won't start everything with white, but a few I will. Hello. I'm going to go ahead and spread my base again. Some extra color on that. Sorry about the shakiness. <laughs> and the dirty pour is when you. I'm going to mix one more color. I'm going to mix a little bit of Yeah, that's good. I love that color. Okay. Dirty pour, baby. Yay. In one cup, you're going to load color. Oh, there. Because the viscosities don't encourage instant mixing. They stay separate. That's very cool. Until oh wow. Look at that. And what I love about a dirty pour is it's so serendipitous that you you get what you get and you don't throw a fit, baby. <laughs> you get what you get and you don't get upset. <laughs> Sometimes you're like, ooh. Quite like that one. That's really nice. Um, we're going to set that aside and dry. Could you add another mm -hmm. layer? Like, let's say pour again. I pour them over and over. Right. Over. I let them dry halfway and then pour them again. Oh, okay. So you have to let it and dry. And then I will let the pour start sitting. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, will, I will let the pour sit for a while and then I'll drag a card through it. Oh my God. The cells are and, amazing. And then it changes even more. So. If you want to do a dirty pour on the whole piece, oh, and then look at this. Oh, sure, sure. You see it inside? You see how it's, so this will stick to plastic, metal, your fingernails, your cuticles. Um, it sticks to your life. <laughs> this is why, please don't um, wash it. Please don't put, if you're gonna rinse it, do it outside. I mean, you just throw the cups, no? Or you want to reuse it as much as you can. <sighs> Whoa. Good morning, everyone. If you're looking for the Turkey Tray area to exchange your voucher for the raffle tickets, 
Okay. I was going to ask about wasting paint. It really stresses me out to waste product. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> no, when you're doing that, it's not. Oh, I want to see. Okay. Oops. Isn't that cool? That looks like a geo, this looks geological. Doesn't yeah. It? Yeah. I'm just trying to get those corners. I want to see. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah sure. This one's heck of cool. So one of my current favorite things to do is to start with white. Look at that right there. I can't see. <laughs> um, you can. So Carolyn Duby did a video where she was sticking her gel plates in the in her surplus, superfluous pores, letting it dry, so probably a day, and then she it would pull off like a skin. Wow. So you could do that. Um, I stick my two port shapes in most pieces, or what I'll do is I'll put my two port shapes down here where it's going to drift. Oh, I see, and then it's your Okay, so, I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, <laughs> so then I'll take my leftover dirty pour, because there's always some residue in there. And splatter. Cool. Isn't that great? <laughs> when you want to marry that one and have a space. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> when you look at the differences, you see why I like salt white. That's the background. These are more like art. So let me show you what that looks like when you're doing it again. That's stunning. Sometimes after I let this dry for a bit. Drag it a different direction and then the cells will reform. You see them popping up? Wow. <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Let's grab this one. I can't leave them alone at home. And then, um, one of the things that I do too is, is <laughs> I keep, um, I keep night pouring media mixed in one of these. Let me do it real quick. Because, <laughs> Funnel. What do you mean by night and pouring me some okay. night? That's cool. I'm like thinking you're getting up in the middle of the night and pouring something while you're <laughs> sleeping. That's what I don't imagine. You know one of my pink colors, right? Oh yes, I did know now, but I was imagining you actually getting up in the night to add some more. I didn't know I actually own that color. Because we have stuff here that can't stand, can't do freezes. Our, it'll kill our citrus trees and uh, little and stuff like that. Yeah, they warm it up and then the, you put a sheet over it or a blanket and it helps keep your plants alive. Yeah. Mm. One time it froze overnight though and we didn't have any warning. It was like a fluke. And everybody, we have giant trees that we lost. Just, oh, no. 
Well, that's what we do in Canada. <laughs> So this, it's uh, acrylic paint. So this is a medium that you mix with acrylic. So it's, you do like four parts pouring medium, you do one part paint, and then you do a drop or two of cell creator. That's the I'm, I'm still on my original prototype cell creator, even with my gallon. Really? Because you only need a drop of that. Yeah. This, the, little, uh, the little ones sell in the kit, right? Yeah. They come together, the yeah. little ones sell. Okay. So what's nice about this is then if you do have something that maybe needs a focal point a little bit, oh, you can do that. Can you do a second pour after on the? Yeah. Yeah. As well, do um, it. This, I think this one looks very octopus. Yeah, it looks so very cool. Suckery, yeah. doesn't it? It's yeah. beautiful. That's an awesome. So, that's one of my favorites. Yeah. Same thing. The same light. stuff. Uh -huh. So all of the cups are mixtures of pouring medium and acrylic and silk. When you put it in the bottle, will it dry out it or? Doesn't. That's good. Oh, that's a yummy color. Oh, I love that. Look at the white mixing, beautiful. Yeah, a lot of questions that I get are like, how long will it take to dry? Yeah, uh, it just depends on where you live. And the ones that I did, I, I poured a bunch for the designer challenge. It actually took a really long time because I had poured on them so much um, that, that is not, you know, usually in Arizona, within a short time, they're starting to set for me. Um, but I had done so many layers on those that just is not a quick, not a quick thing. Very cool. This is why you know, we, we do it. We don't there, just pour white. There's even a heart forming in it. Yeah. It looks like a rose in the corner. Wow. Could you stamp on this after? Yeah, with archival. Archival. And you can write on it also. Really? That's cool. With a paint pen. 
obviously. Yes, obviously. Anything. This is cool because you can incorporate it into your journal. Yeah. Mm. Wow, I want that one. I want to make one like that. <laughs> so this is a product that came out in June. So it hasn't, been, it. It hasn't been in the show. Yeah. I'll be honest, I was scared to use it. I was sitting there and like psyching myself out now i can't wait to go back home and do it i think a, the demo makes a whole difference mm -hmm. it, it does i, I agree you're obsessed like you can't stop i know oh, you run out of room to put things to dry i know well and when i locked my cats out the other day um i put, I put a funny video on facebook of my cat coming in they were at the door whining um i have to show it to you because i love my cats they're so <laughs> the so reason why i couldn't have them inside because I'll step over it. My little, my little kitty, Titan, my other kitties will go in the way. They, they, they just seem to know it. But Titan, my new kitten, he's dumb. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love him. He's so sweet and he's the best little kitty. But he's not very smart. And, um, and he just steps in everything. <laughs> he really does. He ruins everything. Okay, really yeah. Yeah, my dog does the same thing, but he I won't let him in my room because he'll he'll actually like pee on my stuff. Oh, <laughs> so that's well, a deal breaker. Yeah, so I won't let him in there. I lock my door. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I have a crafting kitty too. Yeah. He'll be on the table and like he'll get underneath the stencils. Oh my god. And, like, poke his head out. Oh, I love that. That's amazing. So this is scooping up Wow. Oh, there's that geo. Yeah, it's, that very, it's like a geode, yeah. 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 Stone. It's like you can't pick a nicer one. Like everything is like you can't pick. You can't pick a favorite. <laughs> that, well, the guy is actually my favorite. I do that. But this one is beautiful with the white. Um, and you will glue these to the box and they'll never come up if you leave them in the box. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my pouring. It's like, oh, come and be, come and be amazed. Somebody said, I love this lady. <laughs> Somebody just commented, I love this lady. <laughs> Isn't it cool? I just don't know why. It's not messy at all. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that is ace. I don't think they mean me. They meant you. Don't worry. <laughs> It'll dry and become a skin, um, but it takes a couple days. So approximately, you mean like in a few hours it should be? No, I don't think it works. It's dry when it's dry. It's dry There's when so it's dry. There's so many factors that contribute to it. No, the, I think the question is either is it like 20 minutes or are we talking about oh, two no, hours? Hours. Hours, hours. okay. Hours, hours and maybe days. In Panama days. So oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Oh well, yeah. Look at that right there. That's why I cut the box of that too. <laughs> <laughs> the box is uh, every, every bit. Yes, it is. I usually put paper towels underneath, but that's dumb. Yeah. Um, a little bit of foil. Oh. Do foil. Because then you can, it's easy to cut. And people always will say, what's that in there? Why do you put aluminum underneath? Uh -huh. Line this with aluminum foil, and it will stick forever. 
So you basically are making a second. So you could put a canvas down there. But wow. I think Oh, like at the bottom. Yeah. I thought you meant on the actual canvas, which would be cool too. Oh, well, you could. <laughs> oh, I love that. Thank you for thank you for taking away my fear. So you said Carolyn actually, she actually poured on the plate or she put the plate underneath? No, she, 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 whatever was left, she stuck the plate in. And, and let down, it dry. Let it dry and then pull it. You'll have to watch her video. I haven't tried it. Oh, I know. She does very cool stuff. <laughs> okay, one more pour and then, although I have like 80 people watching, I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> I feel bad. Everybody's like, please don't stop. And I'm like... <laughs> So the white one compared to the other colors, do they have one drop as opposed to double? Like, you know how you put some drops, you put more? You're way overthinking it. I know, I do overthink, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> She's like, there just she said. The only thing I found that you can't use too much of is that. It right. makes it greasy, it is the cell stuff. It's a surfactant. Yeah. So you I don't drop it, you <laughs> don't do it. Yeah. Oh, it's Drop. Teresa. Wait, it's Carolyn Doobie. Doobie. Carolyn Doobie is the one that did it with the plate. Somebody's asking who was Carolyn the name. Doobie. Okay, Carolyn Doobie. It's spelled D-U-B-E. Yeah. So I'll take anything else. The more it sticks, You're so sweet, there. Tiffany. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know. Okay. Oh, wow. oh, my God. Oh, your bravery is what makes you work so amazing. Because I liked that one and I would have... I have such a good friend who is like monitoring somehow this video and keeps on encouraging people. So thank you. That is very cool. I have wide open. It's really handy. If your piece ends up really dark, there's something like this. And then you scribble on it with white. Ask the dumb question of the day. Have you tried any with the black instead of the white in the background? No. That would be cool. Oh, let's try. Yes, okay. We're going to try black background. Yeah, cool. That is not a dumb question. Or even no, but I mean, even of night course it would work the same. I just, secure, like, I haven't done it, so, because I'm white. I like the white color. I agree, but black has a strikiness to it, so I wonder how... And I love the media board with this. We did it with canvases, and I don't... Because the canvas kind of bubbles in. And it works. Yep. Canvas is my least favorite substrate. Yep. Stretch canvas. Yep. I do not like it. Yep. I like rigid substrates. That's, thank you, actually. What about like wood? It just yeah, like on wood. All those down there are poured on wood. Okay, perfect. Because I actually have that at home. They sell that at the dollar store. In our. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but they do. They sell like the, the shadow boxes in my okay. work. Yeah, that would yes. be cool. Hi. How is life in uh, you guys? Doing okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Fondle it. Fondle it. Yeah. Fondle it. If you want to lay it on the floor and roll around and it, open your hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do not provide band-aids for the And you need to invent a money stamp. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> I'm like so excited. I'm like waiting. Oh, cool. oh god. 
Well, let's see what happens. Oh, the cool with the black underneath. Mm -hmm. I wanted to cover all the black. I made too much. That's okay. You get what you get. That's amazing. That is really cool. I already did the ends. Look at yesterday's video. <laughs> it almost looks like metallic. You can pour with the metallics too and they look really cool. I wonder, could you like mix a couple of drops of the alcohol inks just to like kind of... I don't know. You know, I, I don't use alcohol ink. I'm right. not an alcohol ink person. The mixative ones. Really. No, I know. I wonder what metallic can you use? See how I want to move it, but I don't want to move it too much and ruin yep. it. Because you, you can over move them. Yes. I want that. So gorgeous. It's knowing when to stop, that's where it's hard. So the black is not showing through in this one. Is it because it's thick? It's because I poured too much on top. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Mm. Thank you so much, Dina. Thank you. Tina's been pouring. How incredibly cool. Look at this. Look at all this cool stuff. Whoa, babies. I guess if you use the leftover, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see how. Okay. I don't want to. A last pour because I have to go to another booth. I feel bad. I don't want to leave. I want to stay here forever and just watch you do this. That looks like a galaxy you now. Okay, that's cool. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tools. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh my God. Yes, now you can really see it. Let me see that part. I want it. What'd you say? 